Hello everybody and welcome to episode 22 of my Excel 2013 tutorials. Um, this tutorial we're going to go into worksheet protection uh, and it's a bit of a swing from what we've done before with formatting uh, but it does link in a little bit so this is why I thought it would be most relevant in the structure of the tutorial. So uh, worksheet protection, uh, it just allows you to stop people from editing certain cells. Uh, so if we just jump straight into it, I guess, uh, if we right click on sheet one down here uh, and go to protect sheet, uh, and then it's going to come up with this. So you can put a password on to, protect, to unprotect the sheet. Uh, this just means that if anyone wants to uh, undo what you've done in locking things down, uh, then they need to put a password in. So only the people who know the password can do it. Uh, and then it just has a list of things uh, that people can do uh, when when it's protected. So uh, at the moment, all you can do is select cells. Uh, and there's a lot and unlock cells, which I'll come on to in a second. Uh, and then there's all these other ones down here. So you might want to protect the sheet, uh, uh, and you don't want them to be able to kind of edit any of the contents of the cells, uh, but you might want them to be able to format rows, for example. Uh, and that means you can hide and unhide them and stuff like that. Uh, you might want to turn it on so they can use foot auto filter and pivot tables uh, and sort, um, but you might not want them to delete columns or anything like that, uh, or insert hyperlinks uh, and, and anything like that. So press OK, uh, and now you'll notice if I try and do any changes, it's going to say that I'm trying to do it in a protected sheet. Uh, and so that's very useful. Uh, and if we go right click on here and unprotect sheet, then it's just going to allow us to do the changes again. Uh, so very simple, very easy to do. If we put a password in, I'll just show you this quickly. So if I put a password in as password, uh, and then it'll ask you to re-enter, uh, and then it won't let us do anything because it's protected. Uh, and then if we go to unprotect sheet, it's going to ask us to put that password in before we can do it. Now, the locked and unlocked cells. So the difference between these two. Uh, now, if we go on to a cell, uh, so let's say we want to protect all the cells apart from uh, input name. So we want them to be able to put stuff in this cell because that's where they're going to write their name. Uh, and normally you'd have multiple things that say say you've got a form that you want people to fill in and you've got a few cells where you want to put stuff in. Uh, so my name's Matt, so I'm going to put that in there. Um, if we right click and go to Format Cells, uh, and then you'll see there's a Protection tab. Uh, and now here we've got this locked ticked box. So if we untick that and press OK, uh, and I'm going to have to format this because otherwise it's going to upset me a little bit. Let's just put some formatting on there and turn off our grid lines. There we go. It already looks like a better uh, user form already. Um, if we go to protect sheet uh, and press OK, uh, now, if we try and change any of these cells, it's not going to let us, uh, but if I say change my name to Bruce, it's going to let us change that cell, and it won't let us change any of the others. Uh, so that's how you can set specific cells to be uh, locked or unlocked. Uh, and you can do whole groups, uh, it won't let us do it while we're in protected modes. Uh, so if we come out, uh, you can s select a few, go to format cells and protection, uh, and then it's just the tick box in here. Uh, and if we press cancel because I don't want to make all of those locked or unlocked. Uh, and yeah, that's how you use worksheet protection. Uh, very useful. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, and uh, please leave a, a, a like or a subscribe. Uh, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.